We're going to do a linear and polynomial regression in MATLAB where we might have some data and we may want to fit a line through it. Um, so we want to get the uh, equation of a line. So we want to get the intercept and the uh, slope. Okay, so intercept and the slope and then we may also want to get an R squared value as well. We also might want to fit, uh, for example, a quadratic uh, through this and maybe also a, a cubic function. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to MATLAB. And um, what we'll do is, in MATLAB, I'll just type in um, some of these commands to use the polyfit function. Um, I also have this tutorial in Python and Excel. If you'd like to, so just as this is opening, um, if you come to apmonitor.com, slash CHE 263, um, you'll see a data regression, the same tutorial in Excel. Um, and then this one will be in MATLAB. I'll go ahead and post it here with the source code and then also in Python as well. Okay, so all of these, um, same example in MATLAB, Python, and Excel. Okay, so um, we're just gonna come back here to uh, MATLAB and um, First of all, I'll go ahead and just do CLC. And if you have a, a session open, it's good to do clear all just to clear your variables. Um, so first of all, I'll do um, just to find some X values, um, zero uh, through six, or I guess through five, okay. Okay, and I could also use the lin space uh, function if I wanted to, but I just have X. Uh, first of all, and then I'll uh, come up with my Y values. This is just my, uh, you know, sample data, um, and um, okay, so I have my uh, my sample data. I just suppress the output with the, the semicolon, um, and then I want to uh, create a, um, a polynomial fit. Okay, now I can do any order. Uh, now I'll just do a, a linear one first of all. Okay, and then if I just uh, display that, I have the slope and then also the intercept. Um, if I do P2, I'll just go ahead and do the up arrow here, um, and then do a second order or a quadratic as well. Um, and I'll do a third um, or so. Just hit up arrow and just replace those with two and three. Okay, so if I plot this, um, if I plot my data, I'll just do X and Y. Let me just make those uh, circles, okay, just to be able to see um, see the data. Okay, so there, there are my uh, data points. Okay, I'll just move this over to the side, and let me make this just a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on here. Okay, um, so there I have my, my, my data, and I'll go ahead and hold on to that plot, and then let me also plot um, X, Y, um, actually I'm going to do a poly value. Okay, so I evaluate uh, my polynomial function. In this case, it's gonna be P1, and I'll just put in the value of, of X there for my sample points, and I'll make that a red line. Okay, so there's my linear fit um, to, this, uh, to this data. Okay, now I can also do the same thing with uh, P2. Okay, these are my, um, I'll change that. Let me just make it a blue uh, dashed line. Okay, um, you can see it, it just is only evaluated at the points um, that I had for my data. Let's say I wanna put a few more points in there. Um, I can do a lin space. Uh, let me just do that between uh, negative two and six and I'll have a hundred points. It does a hundred points by default anyway. But I'll just create um, a linearly spaced uh, vector between negative two and six with a hundred data points. And then let me just redo that uh, plot. Okay, instead of X, I'll put XP in there as, instead. And this is gonna look a lot um, smoother. Okay, so instead of blue, let me go ahead and just do uh, magenta. Okay, so you can see, um, you know, between negative two and six. Let's say I just wanted to tighten that up, uh, you know, let's say uh, y axis. Um, let's see, I'll do y limit um, between negative two and two. 
Okay, and then uh, I can do an x limit um, between, let's say, 0 and 5. Okay, so um, just changed my plot a little bit. Let me go ahead and put the, uh, the third one on there as well. This is my cubic approximation. Um, okay, and I'll just change it to a green uh, a dotted line there. Okay, so there's my, uh, my cubic function. I can't really see that too well. So let me just go ahead and increase the line width uh, maybe to three, okay? So there's my, uh, my cubic approximation as well. Okay, so, um, so this is the, uh, just a basic um, how to fit, uh, you know, fit these polynomial or linear regressions. Um, I can also you know, compute an R squared value. Um, so let's go ahead and go through that, um, just how to, how to do an R squared. Um, I'm gonna have Y fit, okay, so I have my Y values, okay, those are just the data. But let me come up with Y fit. This is just going to be the, um, the linear regression, I'll just do the linear regression in this case. Uh, P1, um, uh, just the first element, uh, times X, okay, plus uh, P1, uh, 2, okay? So there is Y fit. Uh, those are uh, the points. Um, you know, if I evaluated uh, Y, this, this linear expression at the X point, then that would be the, um, the points. I'm gonna compute an R squared, so now I need to get a residual value, okay? So the error between the measured and the fit values Okay, that's going to be my residual, and then uh, sum of squared of the residuals is going to be sum of um, y residual. Um, I have to use the dot there because I want to operate on this uh, element-wise. Okay, and so I have a sum squared uh, of residual. Okay, and then I also want a sum of squared total. Um, and that's going to equal um, length of y, okay? Um, and then I'm going to multiply by the variance of y. Okay, actually I need to do length, I think. Okay, there it is, instead of len. Okay, um, and then I can compute my r squared um, that's going to be 1 minus uh, sum squared of the residuals um, divided by the sum squared total. Um, and if I just compute that, let's see, I don't think that's quite right. I may have made a mistake here. I think that's minus 1. Okay, there's the correct value. I should have put the, uh, the minus one there um, instead. Okay, so there's my, uh, my sum of squared errors um, for uh, the linear regression, and you could do the same for the polynomial ones as well. Okay, so that uh, concludes this tutorial on how to take uh, data and fit a linear or polynomial regression and do some basic statistical calculations in MATLAB.